okay welcome back students so we are going to start with our syllabus and uh, the first chapter that we are going to take is the software concepts and uh, the book that i'm referring is the ebook provided by the cbse you can also have this book you can download it from the website or i am going to provide this ebook to you on the whatsapp so you can download it so you don't need to actually download it from the cbse so since uh, there was a lot of uh, time gap in fact we never started we should have been started earlier but uh, we have started in the month of uh, july and uh, so there is a lot of uh, cut down in the syllabus also through cbse so i have designed the syllabus as what uh, can be the best for you as student of class 11 and the things that i'm going to cover in this particular syllabus is something that is going to matter to you in the class 12 so as you uh, know the things that are really not relevant to class 12 i have not included that thing in the syllabus but the things that will matter to you and for your board exams in class 12 all the things we are going to cover up do not worry about it so software concepts is the first chapter that we are going to take and it is not the only book that we are going to refer student we are going to refer to other books also um, as we are going to refer in between whenever we are going to refer i am going to tell you about it and i am going to provide that pdf file to you so do not worry about thing you don't have to do anything you have to just study okay uh, rest the study material and everything i'm going to provide to you so let's begin without wasting any further time and the first chapter is software concepts now software concepts means we have to understand the concepts of software the different types of software how different types of softwares uh, are and uh, what are the purpose of the different types of software what exactly they do so after studying this chapter the student will be able to learn different types of software system software utility software application software let me just take the highlighter and use it okay that's it okay so then we are going to application software study the need function uh, need functions and types of operating systems study of some commonly operating systems like li unix linux windows solaris and BOSS. okay and the mobile operating system we are going to learn about this and the open source concept what exactly it is so let's begin that is hardware and software now I guess hardware and software the difference between a hardware and software should be very much clear to you because every class almost or from maybe from class 6 you know we've been understanding the difference between a hardware and a software so a computer consists of both hardware and software uh, and both are equally important for the working of computer system isn't it we require the hardware and we require the software as well now if I say that I have a computer example I have a computer and uh, i do not load any os onto it i do not load any software into it in fact there is no operating system there is no windows is the machine any use to me the question is for example kal ko main computer khareed raha hu aur usme koi software dal nahi dal raha hu main main os windows hi nahi dal raha hu usme to kya main us machine ko use kar sakta hu I cannot use that machine unless and until I load the OS, I install the windows into it or any other operating system. If I install into it, I cannot use it unless and until I do that, I cannot use the machine. So we require the hardware and we require the software. We require software to install in a machine. So obviously software is something is that is going to go into a machine and machine is something that is going to function with the help of software. So we require both. So simple, isn't it? मैंने कोई कंप्यूटर खरीदा उसमें कोई सॉफ्टवेयर अगर मैं डालता ही नहीं हूं मैं ओएस ही नहीं करता तो उसमें ओएस है ही नहीं तो वो मशीन शुरू ही नहीं होगी टू मेक द मशीन वर्क यू रिक्वायर अ ओएस इजंट इट टू मेक द मशीन वर्क किसी भी मशीन को किसी भी डिजिटल मशीन कंप्यूटर को काम करने के लिए उसके अंदर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम का होना बहुत जरूरी है फॉर एग्जांपल एंड्राइड हम लोग एंड्राइड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम नॉर्मली सभी लोग यूज करते हैं तो सभी के मोबाइल में एंड्रॉयड ओएस होता है अगर उस मशीन में जो हमारा एंड्रॉयड मशीन है एंड्रॉयड स्मार्टफोन है उसमें अगर ओएस ही नहीं है तो क्या वो मशीन काम करेगा नहीं करेगा इजेंट इट 
So that's the concept of hardware and software. So hardware is something that we can see, we can touch, right? You can touch your, uh, you know, your smartphone and using that, uh, uh, you know, touch screen, you can do a lot of things. But software is something that you only feel, that's only you can see, that's inside the machine, right? That's software. So the electronic component, let's see what the book says. The book says the electronic components of a computer system that we can see and touch are called hardware. Isn't it? We have a smartphone, we touch the smartphone, we touch the screen, we function the screen. So it's a physical thing, basically. It means that it is a physical thing. It exists, but it's a software, a kind of, yes, it also exists, but it is something that we cannot, you know, touch. It's a, uh, it's a program basically, isn't it? So software is generally termed as a computer program that controls the operation of a computer. And that is a software. Now there are various types of software over here. They are actually referring to the system software. We are going to come to this. Okay. So program is a sequence of instructions that perform a particular task, a set of programs form a software. So definitely, we are going to learn about programming and we are going to develop programs, small programs, because you are a student, so we are going to develop small programs and you are in the learning process. But a group of programs will make a software. So a set of programs form a software, it is a software which gives hardware its capability. Hardware is one of, is of no use, see this is the point I said, isn't it? Hardware is of no use without software and software cannot be used without hardware and that is, that is the reason both hardware and software are equally important. Right, smartphone me mera Android hi nahi hai, iOS hi mera install nahi hai, to mein usko kuch nahi kar sakta hon. Right, so it's very important that a machine should have the OS into it. So let's move further. So I hope this concept of uh, I mean, the difference of hardware and software is very much clear to you. So if anybody asks you what is the difference between a hardware and software, so hardware is basically the physical machine and software is something, software is something, it is a set of programs that makes that machine work. Okay, unless and until I do not put OS into it, the machine cannot work. I need to make the machine work with the help of the software. Simple answer. So if anybody asking you, that's the answer that you're supposed to give. So types of software, now there are many types of software like system software, this is what I was talking about, application software and the utility software. One by one we are going to understand that and there is a graph over here, I guess, yeah, over here. It's a hierarchy, okay. So that is a software, now software can be categorized into system software, utility software and application software. I spoke about system software, what is a system software and but we are going to understand in detail, do not worry about it. Now a system software can be your operating system and your language translators. Okay, just a minute, let me just have the eraser to erase this and again I will take the highlighter. So software can be categorized into system software utility software and application software. Now we will look at the system software. System software will be further categorized into OS that is operating system and the language translators. Language translators are further categorized into compiler, assembler and interpreter. Now one by one we are going to understand, do not worry. Okay, so let us understand the system software. So system software, system software is the software that is directly related to the directly directly related to coordinating computer operations and perform tasks associated with controlling and utilizing computer hardware that is what the book says what does this mean exactly it means please understand as i said mere paas ek computer ka machine hai par uske andar maine os install nahi kiya wo machine function nahi karega us machine se kaam karane ke liye to make the machine work, I need to install the OS. That is the operating system into it. Okay. So, such a software 
which makes the machine work okay please listen to me very carefully the software which makes the machine work or the software which is built for the machine which is made for the machine is called a system software that's the simplest answer you can give okay so the same thing this is what they are saying in a more complicated way that system software is a software that is directly related to coordinating computer operations and perform tasks associated with controlling and utilizing computer hardware okay that's a very complex uh, definition simple as that the the software which makes the machine work the software which is made for the machine is called as system software so the software which will make the machine perform okay is a system software that's the perfect answer you can give if you want you can just type this particular definition i will, I will do that for you okay so let us type my definition and my definition says or i will simply take the where is it okay insert and then text box isn't it ppt so what is a system if i say what is a system software children that's the question isn't it let me just make this bigger okay and then i will paste it what is the system software system software simple language system software is a software program or software which makes the machine work you can say it it uh, makes the machine let me just it is still very much visible to you i'm sure okay it makes the machine to perform various task that's it more than sufficient so that is a question and that is the answer okay simple language okay here it is question and this is the answer okay so that's the first answer let me just copy and paste one by one if i have some easy definitions i will give it to you so this is a very simple straightforward definition in front of you if you want you can just copy it note it down okay now let's move forward children so that's the system software remember it so then the book says that the system software directs the computer what to do when to do how to do okay that's that comes everything under what i said that it makes the machine to perform various task and a full stop it comes everything under under that no need to break down into you know what to do when to do and how to do system software can be further categorized now even the system software is been further categorized in two what is that os i spoke about os right if i if i bring a computer and i say no i won't install anything into it and i should be able to you know use the machine can i use the machine without the os no we require os smartphones if i don't have the os into it there is no android there is no ios can i use that machine no we require the os without the os the machine cannot start without the os we cannot do anything with the machine so simple and the language translators the language translators also we going to come very interesting topic now os 
already that thing is very should be very much clear to, to you till now so let's see what the book says the book says that an operating system is the most important system software yes it is without that machine chalu nahi hoga machine ka kuch nahi kar sakte theek hai agar usme os hi nahi hai to so it is it is a set of programs obviously a software is a set of programs that controls and supervise the hardware of a computer yes it is it supervises the entire hardware components of the of your computer now when we say the word computer to computer ka jab hum log bolte hai computer to hamare dimag mein ek image aata hai that computer means wo jo hamare samne jo jo you know monitor hai cpu mouse or keyboard this is the picture normally that we see or a laptop right so ठीक है वी नॉर्मली वी रिफर दैट एज अ कंप्यूटर बट कंप्यूटर इज बेसिकली ओनली द माइक्रो प्रोसेसर चिप दैट इज द सी पी यू सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट विच इज अ चिप दैट इज द कंप्यूटर एक्चुअली बट इन जनरल टर्म यस वी से दैट एवरीथिंग वी रिफर एज अ कंप्यूटर अदर पार्ट आर जस्ट कनेक्टेड टू द कंप्यूटर बेसिकली सो वी वी रिक्वायर अ मॉनिटर टू सी द आउटपुट वी रिक्वायर अ की बोर्ड टू गिव सम इनपुट टू टाइप समथिंग we require a mouse to give some you know perform some operations on the monitor isn't it we require this hardware we require a printer even that gets connected to the computer to take some print out so these are like you know things that are additional things in fact printer is without printer we can function a computer but without monitor or without the keyboard and mouse a digital computer we, we, there is no meaning as, as such so we require this so these are the basic things other than the printer okay so it manages all the hardware and software import output processing activities flow of information so what you can do children an operating system is the most important system software yes you can that is a good line it is a set of programs that controls and supervises the hardware of a computer and provides services to the application software programmers and users okay so this is more than sufficient from what is an operating system this first second let me just rub the rest of the line okay the first three lines till users i guess this is a perfect answer the rest of the things are additional things and they are going to talk about application software programmers and user uh, programmers and users so your os operating system it is considered as what as a interface between the user and the machine now this is a important point okay so let me just have this what is an os in simple language if i say system software is a software okay we were talking about acha system software now i'm talking about os right so i can say that os makes the machine perform various task isn't it because it's a system software it acts it acts as an interface between 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 the user and the machine that is an os isn't it children for example mere aur mere machine ke beech mein wo os hai wo os hai jo machine se bhi communicate kar raha hai aur mujhse bhi communicate kar raha hai because i am giving some instructions and the computer gives me the output to mere aur us machine ke beech mein machine matlab wo hardware machine theek hai मेरे और मेरे मशीन के बीच में वो ओ है जो कम्युनिकेशन का काम कर रहा है विच इज हेल्पिंग अस टू कम्युनिकेट वट आई एम ट्राइंग टू गिव द इनपुट द ओ एस इज ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड इट गिव इट टू द मशीन मशीन गिव्स द आउटपुट एंड देन गिव्स इट बैक टू मी द ओ एस सो दिस इज द ओ एस दैट इज द ओ एस विच इज द सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर विच इज डूइंग दिस सो ओ एस इज बिटवीन मी एंड द हार्डवेयर मशीन प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दिस so operating system makes the machine perform what various task it acts as a interface between the user and the machine 
so simple it is a very simple language so let's move forward then so this whole thing we'll see to it now the word memory everything has come down do not worry we are going to talk about this okay so let me just read out okay let me just read out it manages all hardware and software input output processing activities just now many way cheez aapko bataya na ki hum log input dete hai os usko le raha hai hardware ko de raha hai hardware se fir uska output le raha hai os fir mujhe wapas de raha hai usko right so between me and uh, between the machine is the os so os is controlling everything it is controlling the machine basically and it is helping me to get the output that i am expecting fine so the flow of information to and from the processor ab wo uska processor ka matlab wahi hota hai cpu central processing unit c what is that word means the flow of information to and from the processor jaise maine kaha na main input de raha hu machine os usko leke machine ko de raha hai matlab processor ko de raha hai processor usko process karke wapas os ko de raha hai aur os fir mujhe de raha hai to in and from to and from to and from ka matlab ye banta hai sets priority for handling different tasks and so on without os a computer see this line without os a computer cannot do anything useful in fact it cannot do anything wo shuru bhi nahi hoga theek hai wo shuru bhi nahi ho sakta nothing can be performed without the os when a computer is switched on the os that is the operating system is the first program that is loaded onto the machine if uh, onto the memory okay now if you have gone through my previous video that was the very first video that i told you okay uh, you should be very much clear between a ram and a rom what is a machine what is the architecture wo video agar aapne dekha hoga to ab maine wahan pe bahut clearly ye cheez bataya hai I have told very clearly that the OS is the first program that gets loaded onto the RAM. That is the memory. When they say memory out here, they are actually referring to RAM. Why? Because every program runs through a RAM. अब उस पर भी हम लोग वापस in detail we are going to go through that. Do not worry. But at this point, please understand that your OS is the first program, is the first software that gets loaded onto the memory. Memory means RAM. Okay. The user cannot communicate directly with computer hardware, isn't it? हम लोग डायरेक्ट कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर उस मशीन हार्डवेयर से हार्डवेयर मशीन से हम लोग कम्युनिकेट नहीं कर सकते हमें कम्युनिकेट करने के लिए चाहिए ओ एस दैट इज द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एक्स एज अ इंटरफेस सी द वर्ड इंटरफेस केम ओवर हियर बिटवीन द यूजर एंड द कंप्यूटर हार्डवेयर डेफिनेटली मेरे और मेरे मशीन के बीच में ओ एस है और ओ एस ही वो कम्युनिकेशन का काम कर रहा है मेरे और उस मशीन के बीच में ओके सो वी रिक्वायर एन ओ एस अंडरस्टैंड सम पॉपुलर ओ एस सिस्टम यूज इन दर्सनल कंप्यूटर आर डॉस विंडोज यूनिक्स लाइनक्स सोलोरस एंड एक्सेट्रा वी हैव मैकिन टॉश ऑल्सो लाइव फ्रॉम एप्पल राइट तो ये सारे ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स है ऐसा नहीं कि दुनिया में सिर्फ विंडोज ही एग्जिस्ट करता है दूसरे भी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स है और बहुत ज्यादा यूज भी होता है जैसे लाइनेक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स के बहुत सारे वर्जन है जो बड़े बड़े कंपनीज में यूज होता है बिकॉज इट इज वेरी गुड फॉर सिक्योरिटी पर्पज वाइज इस ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम को बहुत अच्छा माना जाता है लाइनेक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम को ठीक है तो बड़े बड़े कंपनीज में ये लाइनेक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम नेटवर्किंग के लिए यूज किया जाता है so it's a very good operating system and ye open source bhi hai open source ka matlab kya hota hai bachcho open source ka matlab hota hai free of cost open source and ka ye bhi matlab hota hai that the source code matlab uska program bhi aapko free available hai to agar aap kal ko bahut bade computer programmer bante ho to aap bhi us लाइनेक्स का अपना एक वर्जन निकाल सकते हो kyunki aap programmer ho aur uska source code coding puri available hai aapko उसी को आपने कुछ चेंज करके उसका एक नया वर्जन बनाया ठीक है सो दैट इज द यूज ऑफ लाइन एक्स उसके बहुत ज्यादा वर्जन है सब जगह सभी जो कंपनीज होते हैं बड़े बड़े कंपनीज ह्यूज कंपनीज दे कस्टमाइज दिस मतलब बहुत सारे उनके अपने कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामर्स इस लाइन एक्स को अपने हिसाब से अपने रिक्वायरमेंट के हिसाब से चेंजेस करके उसको यूज करते हैं और इसीलिए उसके बहुत ज्यादा वर्जन बनते हैं विंडोज अगर हम विंडोज की बात करेंगे सो वाई बिलगेट इज यू नो हाउ डिड ही अर्न सो मच ऑफ मनी ही अर्न सो मच ऑफ मनी बिकॉज नथिंग इज फ्री ही इज नॉट सेलिंग एनी थिंग फ्री दैट्स द बॉटम लाइन अगर आज के वक्त में मुझे विंडोज चाहिए तो विंडोज फ्री नहीं आता है आई हैव टू पे मनी फॉर दैट 
राइट right? मे भी आप सोचेंगे यार मेरे हार्डवेयर में वाले ने तो डाल दिया फ्री है हाँ वो है पर इट्स अ क्रैक वर्जन क्रैक वर्जन का इनडायरेक्टली मतलब यही बनता है कि क्रैक वर्जन मीन्स समवेयर इट इज बिन टेकन फ्रॉम राइट और सो यू नॉट पेइंग मनी फॉर दैट बेसिकली बट क्रैक वर्जन इज नॉट द राइट वे टू डू इट वी हैव टू परचेज द ओरिजिनल वर्जन बट इंडिविजुअली हम लोग बहुत सारे क्रैक वर्जन यूज करते हैं और वो चलता भी है But let me tell you, Windows is also Microsoft is also very much strict about using the crack versions, right? Because see, there are a lot of people who have put a lot of hard work. ये softwares बनाने के पीछे बहुत मेहनत लगती है. तो obviously आप किसी को बस ऐसे ही crack version लेकर आपने उसको अगर use कर लिया, तो वो it's not really good uh, practice. हालांकि हम लोग फिर भी बहुत सारा crack versions use करते हैं, ठीक है? Individually, individual लोगों को वो matter भी नहीं करेगा. बट बड़े बड़े कंपनीज होते हैं एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशंस होते हैं वहां पे क्रैक वर्जन नहीं यूज किया जा सकता वहां पे ओरिजिनल लाइसेंस ही खरीदना पड़ता है अदरवाइज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट कैन टेक एक्शन लीगल एक्शन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट लेता है बड़े बड़े मल्टीनेशनल कंपनीज में अगर कोई भी क्रैक वर्जन यूज हो रहा है तो इस पर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट कार्रवाई करता है दे कैन टेक द लीगल एक्शन पर जो इंडिविजुअल्स है जैसे हम लोग है जो एक सिंपल अपना कंप्यूटर पे यूज कर रहे हैं उसको माइक्रोसॉफ्ट कभी भी परेशान नहीं करता सो यू डोंट हैव टू वरी दैट मच इनफैक्ट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इसके लिए भी नहीं परेशान करता क्योंकि माइक्रोसॉफ्ट का अपना भी एक खुद का एक उसमें सेल्फिश मोटिव छुपा है वो नहीं चाहता कि हम लोग यू नो ऑफिस जैसे ऑफिस प्रोडक्ट है माइक्रोसॉफ्ट का जहाँ पे वर्ड एक्सेल पावर पॉइंट इज इट इट सो दीज प्रोडक्ट्स आर लाइक द द नॉर्मल पब्लिक इज वेरी मच यूज टू सो दे डोंट दे डोंट वॉन्ट दैट अ नॉर्मल पब्लिक शुड बी Uh, should get refrain from using this thing because in the future they should get used to all this uh, you know softwares like word excel powerpoint iski bahut zyada logon ko use karne ki aadat padni chahiye aur isliye microsoft jo aam public ko hai wo kabhi bhi crack version ke liye kabhi bhi puchta nahi hai but if microsoft wants they can uh, the moment you aap jab bhi net on karenge microsoft can immediately track and immediately stop your crack version they easily can do that but they will not do it okay so these are certain things because microsoft want you to keep on using their product get used to it aap koi dusra product na use kare kyunki future mein aap jayenge kahi par bhi job lene ke liye to aapke paas hona chahiye ki ha mere paas office ka pura background hai mere paas pura knowledge hai you have the complete knowledge and in corporate world also they ask the same thing that whether you know the microsoft office or not Uh, you know, but still there are other products also which are free of cost. जैसे uh, Word हो गया Excel, PowerPoint के भी बहुत सारे alternatives है But Windows, Microsoft doesn't want that to happen. But yes, in uh, bigger firms, multi, the multi multinational companies and educational institutions पर uh, जो है original license ही चलता है ठीक है तो so they have to purchase it. Understand it. so nothing is free from microsoft everything is charged but when they are charging you something but they are also giving you some excellent product okay they are also giving something that is you will not find with the free version understand it so when it is charged to you you will always have some advantage of using the charged version understand this so that was an not relevant to the topic but still it is just for that extra knowledge for you okay Now the operating system can be a single user or a multi-user operating system. मतलब एक से ज़्यादा लोग भी उस operating system को use कर सकते हैं अगर वो एक operating system networking में है तो ठीक है A single operating user operating system allows only one user to work at any time, but a multi-user operating system allows two or more users to use a powerful computer at the same time. इसको हम लोग और थोड़ा समझेंगे Don't not don't worry. For example, in Windows 7 is a single user operating system windows 10 is also a single user operating system while linux is a multi user ab this is the point i said why linux is also so popular because linux is a multi user operating system or networking wagera mein bade bade companies mein linux ko use kiya jata hai theek hai networking ke liye and we jab 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 hum log networking ki baat kar rahe hain when we talk about networking means there will be multi users understand this thing so this is about it and then need for an operating system okay need for an operating system so operating system provides a platform 
ऑन टॉप ऑफ विच अदर प्रोग्राम्स कॉल्ड एप्लीकेशन प्रोग्राम्स कैन रन अब इसका क्या मतलब है उसको धीरे धीरे हम लोग समझेंगे सिर्फ पढ़ना नहीं रहता चूड़ा वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इट कॉन्सेप्ट पूरा क्लियर होना चाहिए ठीक है एज डिस्कस बिफोर इट एक्स एज ए इंटरफेस ये बहुत बार हो चुका है राइट इट इज अ इंटरफेस मेरे और मेरे मशीन के बीच में ओ एस इज प्रेजेंट इज इट 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 इज डिजाइंड इन सच अ मैनर दैट इट ऑपरेट कंट्रोल अब ये बार बार वही रिपीट हो रहा है ठीक है तो उसको वापस पढ़ने की हमें जरूरत नहीं है ये जो मैंने बताया है ये ये चीजें आप बस यू कीप ऑन कीप दिस टू डेफिनेशन इन योर इन योर माइंड सो आई जस्ट रिटर्न दिस टू फॉर यू I will just full screen this, this and this. What is a system software? System software is a software which makes the machine work. It makes the machine to perform various tasks. Finish. Then what is the OS? OS makes the machine perform various tasks. It acts as an interface between the user and the hardware machine or machine. चलेगा, ठीक है? So that's the thing that you need to remember. Okay. then uh, we have uh, so children then uh, need for os हमने उन्हें शुरू किया है now tomorrow we are going to understand functions of operating system ठीक है what exactly operating system करता क्या है exactly internally वो क्या क्या functions perform करता है ठीक है what exactly it does for us एंड uh, अगर ये जो लिखा गया है यहाँ पर ये भी इतना इन डिटेल नहीं है ओके टू अंडरस्टैंड योर मशीन एंड ओएस इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम बट स्टिल द बेसिक डेफिनेशन एंड बेसिक एक्सप्लेनेशन थेरी पार्ट यहाँ पे दिया है एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल्सो एज लॉन्ग एज पावर एज फार एज पॉसिबल आई एम गोइंग टेक यू डीप एज फार एज पॉसिबल आई एम गोइंग टू टेक यू डीप टू मेक द मशीन अंडरस्टैंड टू यू ओके सो टुमारो वी विल मीट अगेन and what you can do is just try to do this one what is it that is software concept we started and i want you to do this one okay just design this into a ppt okay you design this into a ppt and send me the pdf file to so ppt ka pdf kaise banta hai children see this is your ppt isn't it Go to file, go to export. Export पे जाएंगे तो PPT version आएगा यहाँ पे PDF sorry. PDF file मुझे send करने में I I think मैं PPT बार बार बोल रहा हूँ. ये PPT में बनाना जरूर है पर इसकी PDF file बनाकर मुझे send करना है. ठीक है? तो PDF file आप कैसे send करेंगे? Again I will show it to you. Click on file, click on export और ये PDF. यहाँ पे click करेंगे. कहीं पर भी आप उसको save करें तो उसका जो आपके slides हैं उसके एक-एक page का PDF बन � कहीं पर भी इसको सेव करिए और आप मुझे उसको सेंड कर सकते हो यू कैन सेंड मी दिस ऑन दी व्हाट्सएप व्हेन द विंडो इज ओपन अगर आपके पास ये एक्सपोर्ट ऑप्शन नहीं दिखाई दे रहा है कोई लोअर लोअर वर्जन है तो सेव या सेव एस पे जाइए और वहां पर जब आप सेव करने जाएंगे तो सेव एज टाइप ये ऑप्शन दिखाई देगा क्लिक ओवर दैर एंड यहाँ पर भी आपको ऑप्शन दिखाई देगा पी का ठीक है सेलेक्ट इट सेव इट एंड देन यू कैन सेंड इट टू मी वेन एवर दी विंडो इज ओपन यू कैन सेंड इट टू मी ट्राई टू डिजाइन ट्राई टू डिजाइन एग्जैक्टली द सेम थिंग द एग्जैक्टली द सेम लुक ट्राई टू डिजाइन इट ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू एंड दिस सेशन टुडे वील मीट टुमारो स्टूडेंट्स बाय फॉर नाउ